Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. You know the deal. My name is Daniela, and if this is your first time here, you should consider sticking around. Um, today's video is very impromptu. I had no plans of filming today. I really just was gonna hang out and just do nothing for the night because my life has just been go, 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 go these past few weeks, so I was just gonna literally get a pedicure, which I did, thank God, I needed it badly. And I was just gonna relax for the rest of the night, but something exciting happened. Um, I purchased another designer dupe off of Amazon, and if you watch my videos and you are like up to date with them, which thank you if you are. Oh, hold up. Um, like I said, thank you. I just got distracted. Thank you if you are. I really appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me. And, you know, it's really refreshing to come on YouTube and film and just be able to share some things that I love. Um, but life has been so crazy and so busy lately that I honestly haven't had a moment to sit and film and to be honest I haven't had any video ideas it's just like there wasn't a spark in me or like a kind of desire to film and when you don't have the desire it just it's pointless to film you know like it's just like at that point you're putting out shitty content and I didn't want to do that so I wanted to wait for the right moment where I kind of felt in the right mind space and I felt like, you know, this is something I want to share with you guys. And um, I actually did film a video last week, but um, I'm not going to post it. So what I was saying um, was that I actually filmed a video last week and it was like a product empties video. And I felt like I kind of just forced myself to record the video just because I had no other ideas. And it just fell off. Like it felt like it wasn't genuine and authentic. So I'm not going to post it. Um, just because I know it's not my best work and I just rather post something just hanging out like I just had dinner um, and I just wanted to come here after dinner just chit chat with you guys I literally had to set up my light on my desk it looks so like weird because it's not my usual setup as you see here like my background is I mean, it doesn't really look a mess, to be honest, but it could be better, you know. I could have, like, my little backdrop that I use, but, you know, sometimes we don't have time for that. Like, real life is, gets in the way, and, like, you know, YouTube should be a place for us to just come and chat and, like, you know, I'm not going to be that YouTuber with super amazing editing skills and, uh, you know, like, I'm just going to stay true to myself, so... That was a little bit of a ramble, but yeah, I really just want to start putting out videos when I feel like dedicated and when I feel right. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And I, you know, like I always say in my videos, if there are any requests that you have, please let me know in the comments because I am all for recording what you guys want to see. So just, you know, sound off in the comments. I listen, I read your comments and I reply all the time so if you know if there's anything you want to see let me know but aside from that um little ramble and just kind of catching up today's video is going to be uh, a little bit mix of a few things so first things first I'm sharing a an Amazon dupe and I'm actually pretty happy with the item I picked up now here's a little backstory. Um, I follow Erin Heartbreak here on YouTube and Instagram, and she started this series of unboxing Amazon designer dupes. Love her, and I always watch her videos. I'm like, oh, I need that bag, I need that bag. But you know, real life, you know, you got to pay your bills, you have to pay your car, your student loan, your credit cards. So we don't always buy everything we want. So I really just waited for the right moment where I felt like I found a good dupe that I've like and something I wanted to actually spend my money on and I feel like the price was reasonable and I'm comfortable with spending that kind of money on a dupe so the dupe that I picked up off of Amazon and also based on Aaron Heartbreak's recommendations is the Louis Vuitton what's this called? Pochette Matisse how gorgeous is 
this bag. Let me just kind of just show you guys in frame what the bag looks like. Now, I, it's a little boxy. And then these are the straps. Let me get, whatever, I'll get into more specific details as I discuss the bag. But, uh, yeah, I've been wanting this bag for like two to three years now. And, you know, we don't all have a few grand just lying around to be spent on extra things. And, yeah, that's the reality of it. You know, there's other things in life that are more important than paying retail for a designer bag. But my guilty pleasure are designer handbags. I love them. I like fiend over them. I stalk them on Instagram. I I love following like all of the fashion influencers on Instagram. I love the whole process of putting different pieces together and it's just, I'm all for it, but you know, my pockets are not that deep enough. You know what I'm saying? So I've searched high and low for a dupe that I felt would look really good and I've been searching for a few months on Amazon and I feel like I finally found a dupe that I love. Fun fact, I actually purchased one a few weeks back off Instagram and it was like $150 and when it came in, the quality was horrible. Like the color of the canvas was just, it wasn't there. So I returned it. Um, so yeah, returned the bag and then after that I was like, whatever, I'm just not even going to bother. And then I started um, following Erin's uh, Facebook group and I think it's called Heartbreaker Secrets. Um, I'll tag everything down below that way if you guys are interested in joining, feel free to. I think it's so fun to chat with people that have similar interests and similar likes and just bonding with people over stuff you enjoy so i joined the group and i saw that she posted a 75 dollar louis vuitton pochette matisse dupe and i'm like hmm this looks good but there's only two reviews on amazon and i'm like i don't know like i need more details and then slowly but surely people started commenting and sharing that they purchased the bag and sending pictures in and I was just like all right that's it i'm gonna take the plunge it's 75 dollars if i don't like it i can always return it so that leads us to this bag. I received it in the mail today. I ordered it on Sunday night and I received it today, which is Tuesday, December 17th. And I'm really impressed. I am. <clears throat> Just because of the experience that I had with the other um, Pochette Matisse dupe, this is definitely quite a few steps up. The canvas color is pretty close to the actual Louis Vuitton. Now I have a genuine Louis Vuitton keychain. I'll actually take it out. And oh, you know what? It's probably better to compare it to my wallet. So um, if you watch my videos and you would have seen me unbox this Louis Vuitton wallet quite a few months ago. And I, this is authentic. I got it off a of fashion file. So what I did is um, compare the canvases and this is what they look like side to side. Now you can tell this canvas does look a little bit darker and this is lighter in the tone, but very similar. And I mean, from a far, far away, would anybody notice that this is a dupe? Probably not. But I will say maybe the hardware is kind of a giveaway. It just definitely doesn't look like the highest quality gold but obviously that's expected when you're spending like a huge fraction of the cost on a bag and I'm not mad about it like you know it is what it is I purchased a replica bag I don't expect the exact same quality um <clears throat> the bag does open as a regular pochette Matisse wood and then you have the three compartments here this last one is like the smallest and then you, it came with the strap, same canvas, same quality. This is what it looks like. The front. Um, here's a little bit more. I'm horrible at this. By the way, if you guys are interested in this nail color, it's OPI Let's Be Friends. If you guys 
know the shade then you know that OPI discontinued it why I don't know because this is like one of the best shades they've ever made but it's back so check your local nail salon so you can get these nails but yeah <clears throat> today's video is going to be me attempting to transfer everything that's in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull now this is an authentic Louis Vuitton bag um, in case you're wondering, I have already done a what's in my bag on this video, I would say about a year ago. So if you guys want to see what was hanging out in this bag over a year ago, then check that out. I'll link that down below. What I'm going to do is try to fit as much of this junk as we can in this new bag. And I'm going to see if I can make this my new everyday bag, just depending on, you know, how much it fits. So if you guys want to see how much crap I can fit in this bag, then just keep watching. We're going to sip our wine. Okay. <clears throat> First thing that I'm picking up out of that bag is this <laughs> coupon slash receipt slash document holder. I can tell you right off the jump, I cannot fit this in my new bag. So what I'll do is probably hold like a canvas bag, which I kind of do on a daily basis. This is just adult life. Um, I do carry an extra bag with me, like with extra paperwork and documents. Because that's what adulting is like. You know, you, you don't just carry a cute purse. You carry a, a long and extra bag with it. So I'm definitely not going to be able to fit this in the Pachette Matisse, which is cool. Like... It's not a priority if I have another bag to hold it. It's cool. Then we also have this planner. Um, I This is from Lillian Farag. Is that how you say her name? I picked this up at Target and this is a great planner because it has like a huge, let's see, huge space for writing all your plans in. And I love that. I like to write large and i just like having something where i can jot down ideas and stuff so this will definitely not fit in the bag so i'm going to throw this in that extra canvas bag that i mentioned but first i want to kind of get some better lighting here do we like this lighting i don't know okay this item, this one I can definitely transfer into my new bag. This is an authentic Louis Vuitton. And this is the Josephine or this, yeah, the Josephine wallet. I have the pink interior. So let's go ahead and throw that in the bag. I'm going to put this in the middle slot. As you see there. Next item I have are keys, which are not mine. These are my boyfriend's keys, so... Um, we're not going to pack that in my bag. Uh, then I have this, uh, hand cream that I got at the nail salon today. It was like a little Christmas gift. Thank you. But I prefer my, uh, Bath and Body Works lotion. <laughs> then I have Mucinex here. I was sick this past week. I had a little bit of congestion, but I honestly don't need this anymore. I'm feeling pretty much recovered. So we're just going to put this back in the medicine cabinet. We don't need that in our bag. Then we have these sunglasses. These are from Celine. I always feel like I got to show things properly, but whatever. Like, I don't feel like it. So I got these in a haul a few months back. Actually, it was in the same haul as those Louis, that Louis Vuitton wallet. This is what they look like. I like that they're, they are just all black. Um, love them. Just going to leave them on. No, actually, no, we're not going to leave them on. We're going to put them in the bag like you said you would. Always good to have these. You never know when they can come in handy. So I put that in the first slot here. All right. Next item we have here is a Poland Spring water bottle. This definitely won't fit, but I'm going to take a sip. Stay hydrated, my friends. Alright. Next item we have here is my keychain. 
I have the Louis, Louis, Louis Vuitton keychain. I know there's a technical term for this. I've had this for many years. I picked this up originally on Trade Z for like less than $200 and the quality is great. It is authentic. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's held up great. Um, the only thing that really has changed is that the hardware has chipped, but that is kind of standard with most things like you know what's gonna happen and then um i actually need to take off these keys because those are not mine yeah and then i just have my card keys here i'm gonna throw them in the same so actually i'm gonna throw them all the way in the back here and give them their own little home you know what i'm saying all right next item this this is gonna be tricky guys i don't know if i can make this work the next item i have here is from bath and body works it is the vanilla bean noel um body cream <gasps> guys when i tell you this is my favorite like cream and scent ever like body wise i'm not kidding around i literally bought like three of these last week i also bought like three of the body wash it's just so intoxicating and I don't know. Like this scent is so different than any other vanilla scent I've ever kind of come into contact with. It just smells so good. If you go to Bath and Body Works, just stop and give this a, like a sniff. Um, I promise you, you're really going to like it. Oh my God, it just smells so good. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to fit. Yeah. So this is like not. Yeah, that's not gonna work, guys. Um, we're gonna throw this in our adult bag. Adult bag. That sounds bad. I'm gonna throw that in my extra canvas bag because obviously there's no room for it in my new bag, which is okay. It's okay. All right. Then we have my gloves. These are like faux leather gloves. These have been in like all of my what's in my bag videos. I think I've only posted two or three, but whatever. Um, I picked these up a few years back on Hot Look and they've lasted such a long time. Just on one of them, like the little um, zipper, like this portion fell off, but who cares? They're gloves, they serve a purpose. So I definitely need to pack these in my bag. I'll put them in the same slot that the sunglasses are in. Mm -hmm. Then we have gum. I can fit it so far, but I don't know if I'll keep it in there. Keep watching to, to find out. I have a gift certificate for a special somebody, which they cannot see, so. Oh God, did I stop filming? Hold up. Oh. <clears throat> Not sure where we left off. I ran out of storage, so I just had to delete some content off my camera, but. Pretty sure I talked about having a gift certificate. It's for a special someone in my life. You'll know who you are if you're watching and um, you know, after Christmas you'll know who you are. Mm. Okay. Next item here. This is so fun. Um, I figure I'm just gonna share with you guys what's in this. This is also another Amazon dupe. I completely forgot that I had this in my bag. It's a Louis Vuitton cosmetic case. Um, it's a dupe and you can tell by it just because these usually say Louis Vuitton, I believe. But yeah, I picked this up for like $40 on Amazon. Um, if it's available, I will link it down below because I thought this was such a good deal. Like from afar to me it looks authentic and I just wanted a cute make a bag I was I sold my other um I had the tr trouse the true I, I had the trouse 23 I think that was the size and I just felt like it was too big and bulky and like more of a travel bag than um a makeup bag that you carry in your like everyday purse so I don't know, I just didn't like it anymore, so I sold it on Poshmark, and somebody out there is enjoying it, or at least I hope they are, so, 
yeah, I figured, I let me get something small, and I found this great dupe for $40 on Amazon, and I've been using it since. So real quick, I'll just show you guys what's in here, because I might have to consolidate the items that hang out here for this new bag, or I'll put this in my other bag, whatever, we'll see. So first item I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is the Matte and Poreless. I use the shade 220 Natural Beige. Pick this shade up randomly. Um, but this is just really good for touch-ups throughout the day if I'm getting oily, which I typically get, get around my nose. Or for some reason, after I'm eating something, I always get lipstick on my chin. So I'll use that kind of to touch that up. Then I have the KKW Beauty Nude Lip Liner in the shade Nude 1. I picked this up this weekend, and honestly, I'm in love. I feel like her lip liners carry so much pigment, and they just apply so smoothly and I'm a huge fan, so I've been using that nonstop since I got it. Another item that I just recently got and I'm obsessed with. Hold up. Back to what I was saying. So another item that I recently picked up was the Carly Bible and Il Maquillage Lipstick. This is in collaboration, obviously, with Carly Bible. I have the shade Libra. And it's just like the most perfect nude shade. And it just goes on so smooth. It's kind of like a hybrid between a matte and kind of like a gel formula. Like, I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. I've been using it every day to touch up. And I'm definitely going to transfer that over to my new bag. This is what happens when you have more than one glass of wine. Next up product that we have here is from Wet n Wild. It is the Mega Last Liquid Katsu. It's a high shine lipstick. I have the shade Sand Nudes. I've gone through a few of these already. I picked this up based off of a recommendation from Marie J here on YouTube. Um, I've been using this for quite a few months now. I love it and I recommend this to all of my clients, all of my friends, or anybody that's looking for a good drugstore kind of everyday look, look, lipstick. Check this out for affordable. Then we have this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. It's always good to have. You never know when you need to refresh your makeup. So yeah. We have that. What else is in here? I have the Art Artist Couture Couture Lip Gloss in the shade Uncensored. Um, I will. S I went crazy trying to find this because I saw Desi Perkins talk about it on in an Instagram post. And um, I will say the shade is gorgeous. Can't deny that, but. The applicator is so flimsy and cheap, like, I definitely think more money could have been invested in the actual component, like, this isn't, I, I feel like there's drugstore, like, packaging that's more sturdy and, like, better than this, like, this packaging is 100% better than this is, and I pay, like, Two times the price so that's my opinion then we have this little Chanel brush this came with a bronzer but I thought it would be perfect to use as like a brush in my bag first off it's small compact cute and I mean I guess right in those places that we need to set and refresh you know uh, and then I have a few more items here. We have this random rose gold tweezer. You know, sometimes you just need to tweeze a hair or pluck it. I have this Sephora lip sharpener. And comes in handy because I literally reapply my lipstick two to three times a day. So you better believe my lip liners get pretty uh worn out and then we have this ysl lip plumping lipstick uh i think it's the rouge lipstick volupt the the writing has come off all i know is that the number is seven and it's 
just like a lip plumping lipstick. I This is how much I have left and I'm surprised I got this low on it. And what I like to do with this item or this product is put it on as a base and then put lipstick on top and this just creates like a pouty look. And it's very moisturizing. And I mean, look at the packaging. I love YSL lipstick packaging. I do. And I'm a sucker and I fell for it, that product. But you know what? I actually use it and I'm pretty content with it. Probably wouldn't repurchase, but hey, it worked for me for the time being. And then the last item I have in my makeup bag is this Giorgio Armani C um, perfume roll-on. I love this perfume. I currently don't have it on my vanity. Um, I guess I'm just waiting to repurchase it, but it smells so delicious. I think it's like a great fall and winter scent. And I just keep that on me because I love the smell and I always want to smell like it. So, you know, who doesn't like to smell good? All right, moving on. We have this hair clip. This is actually in my mom's car. So I'm going to return that sometime later on. So the main component of this bag is empty. Now I'm going to go in to the side zipper and see what we got in there. First thing I have is this little bag. Um, this is actually for a product I picked up at like a local shop in town where I work. And I just use this to store my headphones. I don't really use them that much, but it's always good to have. So I am going to pack these in the bag and I'll just put them in the same slot where I packed my keys. And I'm gonna throw this pen in here. This is from a restaurant called Pendry and it's from, it's in San Diego. When I went to LA this summer, uh, we went to San Diego. My boyfriend and I went to San Diego. I think it was for like a night for like two days and we ate at this little restaurant and the food was amazing so if you guys are from san diego or live in the san diego area or you're visiting san diego definitely check it out this is once again the name of the restaurant amazing and the pen is amazing comment down below if you steal pens from restaurants no shame in my name and then the last item that we're going to transfer over is my business card holder. If you guys don't know, I do do makeup on the side. I guess you can call me a freelance makeup artist. And I live in Jersey, so if you guys are in the Bergen County area or around the area, then definitely DM me on Instagram or contact me. I'm gonna leave all of my socials down below. I do makeup on the side. It's a passion of mine and it makes me so happy when I can make my clients happy. So I'll just show you guys what the outside of my makeup cards look like. I went for a simple look, you know, straightforward, like this is my name, my number, this is where you can contact me if you need your makeup done. And then I got this holder off of Etsy maybe like a year ago. So I'm just gonna put this in like this thin little slot that is in the middle compartment. And I need to choose some makeup that I'm going to actually bring with me. And I think I'm going to reorganize a few things. So I'm going to remove the gum because it's just way too bulky. And I'm going to put my keys where I packed my wallet. And then for my, oh, my debit card. Let me put that back in my wallet. Don't want to lose debit cards. All right, so we're going to part that in there. Okay, so obviously I can't fit this cosmetic bag in my new bag. So what I'm going to do is just put that in there. And then when I switch back over to my Neverfull, I'll just use it again. But I'm only going to pack my essentials. So I'm definitely going to take this um, Fit Me powder. And what I'm going to do is put the brush in this section. We're going to put that all the way in the last pocket, all the way in the back. I'm going to, of course, pack this KKW lip liner as well as the Il Maquillage and Carly Bybel lipstick. I'm going to pack this mega, this Wet n Wild catsuit lipstick because you could literally touch up any nude lip with this. And I think that's all. 
You know what? Okay. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave out these four products because they are not like my number one essentials. Like, I can do without them, but I can't do without the rest. So, I'm going to put them back in here. I can always pack this in my extra bag if let's attempt to close this bag. I think we got it. All right, guys. We have the bag fully packed. It's a little heavy, but I could definitely work with it. Um, especially if it's going to be like a shoulder bag. I can work with it. The one thing I will say about this bag, and I don't know if this is standard with Pochette Matisse, but it's kind of like boxy. And I prefer it to be like more flat. I think it's just the way they structured it. Or maybe with use, it'll kind of get more flimsy. If you guys have a Pochette Matisse or a Pochette Matisse dupe, and this is normal, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm curious. That concludes today's random video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, spur of the moment, didn't plan this, but I just wanted to sit here and chat with you guys. I'm just like genuine and like about something I'm interested in and you know, I didn't want to force it. So we went on a whim and yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any designer dupes that you found on Instagram, comment down below. Let's, you know, have a conversation. And yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Good day. Have a good one.